Hi everyone, it's Rizmir, and welcome to this first episode of Small Snippets and Tutorials uh, in Star Wars The Republic. So in this first one, it's actually made on a request, because multiple guildies, as I'm running a guild over here, have been asking how to customize m m the interface to what you see in the guides, uh, or what I have, actually. We here have the Operation Group Frame, one of uh, our guildies volunteers to help me to create a group just so I can sh show you everything, guys. And without further ado, let's just jump right into it. So, usually when you start gaming, uh, when you start a game, your interface should be something like this. Yep, default. And in default, you don't have much information in operation frames. And because of that, when, you oper when you're doing operations, you want that bit of information, especially if you're a healer or a tank. Well, especially a healer, actually. So, first thing you want to do is uh, increase. Just scroll down here. Inc increase health height. Let's do it 12 right now. Uh, 18, 20, that's usually what I go for. But it's pretty short, so when you switch this option, show health text, boom. It's it's there, it's visible, but it's still pretty cluttered. So you just use the width and let's do it 20. Should be enough. Then what you want to increase is the scale. Because it's pretty comfy, yes, for many people, but sometimes you want, especially in a healer, you want that little bit of uh not actually later. Uh, you want that little bit of more of yeah, that's the stuff. Not twenty. Maybe it's too wide. Twenty. Let's make it sixteen. Okay. So you'll pretty much now have clear view of how much hit points uh, people have in your group and how much percentage in that case. The next thing, what you want to know is the debuffs. Those pesky little debuffs that can kill you dead and make your life pretty miserable during operation or a master flashpoint, depending what floats your boat. So, yes. When you're, for example, in Dread Fortress operation and you have the first boss, which is Nefra that bears the way or guides the gate or whatever, uh, you want to see when the, deb the mass debuff appears on the whole group. I'm gonna have this green icon who's like pulsating and taking your health with, in some cases, with quite a bit of a success. So I want to see that debuff, especially if you're a healer. If it's gonna be that small, uh, it's gonna get lost in all those buffs and everything else. So what you want to do is increase the debuff scale. Let's say, oh, 75, yeah? Now, obviously, I don't have any debuff, so you're not gonna see it. So let's use buff. As an example, how it's gonna appear. Let's increase it to the same size, 075. That's how big the debuff's gonna show up. Now, that's a quite a lot. Usually in operations, you will not see that many debuffs at the same time. Two, maybe three. In very few cases, yes, you will see more debuffs. But that's just a example. That's just an example in like I said, I don't recall, recall uh, having that many debuffs, so it's usually one or two. Okay. But, as you see, they're taking much space anyway. And those two nicknames, like mine and Lol Goose's, are very close together. So what will happen, that's in the game, is his debuffs will not show up. And you don't want that. So to avoid that, you either reduce a lot the debuff scale, but just make sure that so they still stand out. Or you just use party spacing. That basically creates a space in between the nicknames. I usually f go again with something like mm, 18 or 20. 20 maybe is too much for some people. I just find it comfortable, especially when the, a lot of debuffs stuck up. So, and that will pretty much solve an issue. Mm, okay, let's remove buffs back to the original state leave the debuffs on this you can actually increase them a little bit if you really want to see the buffs okay groups per row that's pretty much self-explanatory uh, you can change the appearance of the ops frame because for example if you go on a world boss fight you're gonna have 24 people stacking up over here so 
some people won't prefer to have it uh, horizontal uh, instead of uh, vertical, like right, like by default. I pretty much always go with the default, so that is by vertical. Groups visible, I wouldn't touch that, because people disappear, literally. Mm, okay, show only remove removable debuffs. Now, I would not recommend toggling this option on, because what we do is create. Let's make uh, an example. You're in an um, operation. There's eight of you. One of your teammates dies, and the healer revives him, using combat res. And boom, that person is up. The whole group will get a debuff, which is not a removable debuff. <coughs> that debuff is that you cannot, with until it goes off, you cannot revive that person during the five minutes that the debuff lasts for. And if you don't care, and you don't have a uh, combat res, then yeah, you can get rid of it. So just why would you need it? But because it's a team effort, it's very good when the t team knows all the informations. Like for example, when you can r use the revive again, it might get quite important in some uh, heated fights uh, when people tend to die a lot. So, like I said, I never use it, so I would not recommend using it mm, for you as well. Uh, so yeah, as for operation frames, that's pretty much it. For the group frames, you can do pretty much the same, the same stuff. Let's actually switch to mine, which I use on daily basis. Boom. There you go. There you have it. That's my interface again. And let me get back to it. Yeah, group frame. Same thing. I increased the debuff scale. And buff scale is just regular as it should be. Now I don't have anyone in a group. I will have to convert the ops group again. Mm, show information text. I use it sometimes. Sometimes I don't. Depends if I forgot about it or not. In in uh, in groups like in flashpoints, it's not that important. I mean, I haven't found it that important. I play for since 2011, so mm, so yeah. So it doesn't matter. Windows pop off. No. Uh, so yeah. That should be pretty much it. In the next in the next episode, I'll be covering how to use Group Finder and what each of this stuff means. As uh, while using Group Finder properly, you can save a lot of credits on traveling and a lot of time because in many places you have to go to, to the ship and then you have to use the orbital station, walk endlessly, blah blah blah, so forth and so forth. And by using Group Finder, you can save that time. And like I said, credit because using Group Finder is completely free of charge, if you want to call it. Mm. And if you have any other suggestions, what you want to see in how to do in a game, some tricks, tips, tricks, if it's how to do dailies, how to do certain quests or stuff and so forth, just let me know in the comments section. Or if you part of my guild, the, the Immortal Fleet. Uh, you can, of course, ask over here or on our Discord. So yeah, that'll be enough for this one. Me yapping and blubbering about existence or whatever. And I'll see you in the next one. Just remember to leave a like or or dislike if you didn't really like it. And to subscribe if you want to see some more. And I'll see you next time. Bye.